let's take a look at the Fracture mod add-on. Alright guys, how's it going? Now I actually recommended this product a couple of months back. It was in beta at the time and you could have grabbed it for free. It's now came out of beta, it's available on Blender Market for $5 and it's called the Fracture mod. Now I'm going to be completely honest and upfront here. The developer seen one of my tutorials, he got in contact, he says, would you like a Blender Market affiliation link? And I said, damn right I would, thank you very much, because I would be silly not to take it. So anything that you buy following the link, I essentially receive a small kickback. So just to make you aware, now if you want to support a developer and support the channel at the same time, I'll happily accept. And this is Fracture Mod, but to be honest, I want you to make your own educated decision. It's your money, do what you like with it. So do your research first, don't take my word for it, but I'll show you the add-on. Now this is essentially Fracture Mod, I'll quickly undo this. You can see here, we have the Physics tab on the right hand side, we have the Fracture Mod, I've selected the object, and I'll hit Generate. Now when it comes to the count, I can move this up or down, I can even go up to something like a thousand, and we have a whole bunch of objects. Now let's make it 250, we can change the random seed, so we can start getting a little bit of variation. When it comes to the grid size, it essentially does a remesh, so we can actually play around with the grid size. Now we can put this up or down depending on what we want. The lower the values, the more topology you'll essentially get. In terms of the thickness, that's how thick a piece that you would like to cut out. In terms of the smoothness, that's how smooth do you want it to be. So you can actually take this off and it'll look like one object, but if you display the wireframe, you can see here it's actually divided into lots of different objects. But I'm going to put the smoothness back up to one for now, and I'm going to show you the stone feature. Now the stone feature essentially makes it look like stones. So I can put this up a little bit and we end up getting nice results like that. And when I'm happy with the results, I can hit extract and it'll extract all the pieces and then I can do what I've done in the demo. I could add rigid body or whatever that I want to animate. And that's pretty much the fracture mode. Now, like I said, completely up to you whether you buy it or not. Even if you use a link and then refresh the link, I don't care. It's your money, do what you want with it. But it is pretty cool. Now let me quickly undo this because I want to show you what it's doing inside of the modifiers. Because these modifiers, in theory, could be tweaked. So what it does is it does a particle, obviously. You have the explode, it does a solidify, and it, and it just kind of works through the modifiers. Now, is it as good as cell fracture? It's kind of a different tool, to be honest. You don't have as much control with like using things like annotations and stuff like this, let's be honest. But it does give really nice, quick results, as you've seen at the start of the video. And that really is a fracture mod. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.